So I just opening the post here and we have some uh, a lot of correspondence in from uh, a bank. Uh, so about uh, a couple of years ago, uh, one of the national banks in the country um, sent information to the Irish Credit Bureau uh, to say that a lot of their uh, mortgage holders had their mortgages had gone into arrears and then had a, a negative effect on their credit rating. Um, in in when well, in actual fact there was nothing wrong with those loans or mortgages, and it's an error, an internal error by the bank. Uh, so we uh, spoke to a special data protection GDPR and defamation barrister uh, around last summer, uh, and um, the we realised there was a lot of people out there that's been affected by this, and a lot of people not only had their um, so some people might have had their uh, credit rating. Or the information sent to the credit rating and, and it didn't really affect them on a day-to-day -day basis but there's still that's still uh, a cause of action just the fact that the um the bank incorrectly informed the Irish credit bureau uh that uh, their credit their, their loans were missed but then there was people that uh, had uh subsequently applied for finance so they went for a loan car loan house whatever remortgage or sorry um maybe a renovation to the house or something like that uh, and then they were declined, and the reason they were declined is because of a bad credit rating. And then when they uh, took up their ACB report, which anybody can do, the Credit Bureau, they saw that their credit rating uh, was uh, negatively affected due to the incorrect error of the uh, the bank. So this also uh, has caused undue stress, anxiety, worry to people, uh, caused them to default on other loans because they couldn't get new finance. Uh, has called has caused issues with marital marital issues and marriages breaking down. Uh, so there's a huge consequence to all of this. So uh, these cases are ongoing. Uh, we have about, I would think, 150 uh, of these banks uh, clients or cases that we've taken on. Uh, we've we that will then proceed in the normal litigation route with a person who someone has been drafted. It's been served on the bank. Uh, we're at the stage where they've lodged appearances, uh, or they're about to lodge their appearance and then raise their particulars. Um, so yeah, look, it's interesting type of work. I would expect that these cases will run over the next 12 months. Uh, with the pleadings and then may, may close in uh, summer the calendar year 2022. So welcome to uh, some industrial unit in Ballonhastic, is it? Ballonhastic. Country Cork near the airport. So this is a little project, non-legal news. Uh, about two weeks ago, myself and two friends, now business partners, bought a horse box, which we're in the middle of converting to a donut shop coffee machine, the donut shop is uh, at someone's house been tested and we hope to get it out selling to the public in two weeks. There's a little hint of what we're doing. Uh, good morning, it's uh, Monday morning the 15th of February about 9am, uh, back in the office there for a while, Monday morning again is a uh, full file review so we'll go through the litigation files, medical negligence, we actually do a bit of conveyancing. Uh, buying selling property, a lot of mortgage switching going on at the moment uh, and some probate work that would be drafting wills or if someone passes away, extracting the grant of probate. Um, the vlog went out live Friday evening, have had a surprisingly positive response. Uh, a lot of nice messages came in from other solicitors, uh, trainee solicitors, um, even people watched it and have sent in job applications, messaged our Instagram page. Uh, so yeah, um, I suppose... Uh, Delighted, thankful, very grateful, um, and we will. Oh, and Tina has just liked my IGTV video. She didn't think my life is interesting. Just popped up there. Thank you, Tina. Um, so yeah, today is a uh, fire view, kind of planning my week. Um, I just looked at my Annie.do app where I now have twenty tasks, which kind of is probably too much. The idea is to have maybe five or six solid tasks that you get through every day. So there's twenty in it. Um, I'll hit a lot of them out this afternoon. And then we'll space the rest of months, see where I am over the week. Uh, just regards uh, a file review. Um, there's a person in the case we took on. It's a gentleman on a bicycle. He got knocked down by uh, someone driving a car. Uh, he broke his wrist, some hip injury. Um, quite badly injured. What, missed some work, a couple of months of work. Uh, so we took the action, wrote out what's called the initial letter to the driver of the car, uh, asked him to admit re responsibility. Um, and then we, the next stage in that is we lodge our application to the injuries board, but the driver of the car should then pass our letter or details of the accident onto their insurance company. 
but it's now transpired that the driver of the car was not insured so we must now take a claim against the MIBI that the Motors Insurers Bureau of Ireland and that's uh, an independent organisation in Ireland that covers people who are injured in, in road traffic or car accidents as a result of other drivers not being insured so uh, while that driver uh, will be named on the application we now must add uh, the MIBI as another respondent they will then send out an investigator, investigator to uh, meet our client at the scene investigate what we say how the accident occurred and then uh, deliver up their report uh, and then uh, they just become the defendant and the, the case uh, carries on as normal yeah okay so uh positive start of the week uh, i'll keep you updated uh so during uh the first lockdown last march or april uh a small bit of downtime so i put together two ebooks uh, one is uh, two helpful guides to do with personal injury and buying and selling a house. So the personal injury book, um, if you go on sweenysisters.ie and click on uh, our website, sweenysisters.ie, click on resources and then free legal compensation book, you can download the, gu download the guide. So if anyone really wants to know the process in taking a claim in Ireland, uh, personal injury, slip and fall, road traffic, workplace accident or medical negligence type claim, uh, please hit on the link there and download the book. Yeah, so I think that's probably the end of vlog number two. I had a pretty hectic weekend. Uh, a couple of videos or clips previous you saw uh, myself and some buddies have uh, have a little side project where we're bringing out a donut and coffee uh, food truck. So that's progress. It's huge, exciting. My wife and kids have bought into it. Uh, my two friends and business partners, their wives and kids have bought into it. Uh, it's a nice bit of relief from all the stress and pressure and seriousness of COVID. Um, so the truck uh, itself is now painted. We've just our location is going to be confirmed this week. It's a really exciting location, exciting Cork City. Uh, I hope um, we've just, I think, decided on our coffee supplier. Uh, there's so much coffee out there at the moment, artisan coffee. Um, so much good coffee out there at the moment. There's a huge coffee scene in Cork. Uh, we had a delivery this morning from I think our preferred supplier. Uh, I'll show you the clip here. Uh, and I, we are tasting that this week and we'll make a final decision in the next week or so. We hope to be up and trading in the next two weeks. Uh, also, I mentioned previously about an opportunity that came across my desk. It's to do with a CBD company uh, that was uh, providing CBD points for solicitors for the last number of years and they want to take their business online. Uh, we had a call there during the week, which I'll just cut in here. So it's a solicitor in Cork City and a barrister um and we have a team now with us uh and i would think it's probably gonna take a month or two to get it off the ground uh, a lot of logistics and structure to put in place to bring the business online but very exciting very very interesting uh, and that's it uh until then i will keep going i think that's the phrase everybody wants to hear or is everybody's doing to get us through covid and everything else so keep going i'll talk to you soon